Good afternoon everybody, my name is Wes Davies and welcome back to the fourth and final video of my video series where I explore Taiwan's incredible agriculture industry. Today as you can see, I'm up here on a working dairy farm in Miaoli County, just hanging out with these beautiful animals. And today I'm really excited, we're going to be learning about new applications of technology which has led to the overall efficiency increase of the dairy farming in Taiwan. So I can't wait to get started. Let's go check this place out. Before we get too far into the video, I want to take you back to the previous day, where I had the chance to meet Professor Xu at the National Taiwan University. Professor Xu is a leading expert in Taiwan's dairy industry, and he and his team have been developing a new heat stress reduction system designed to increase the milk productivity of dairy farming in Taiwan and to help improve the lives of the dairy cows themselves. We are up here today in Taipei at the National Taiwan University here at the Department of Animal Science, Science and, and Technology. Technology yes. And I'm here with Professor Xu. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are we going to be taking a look at today? Yeah, I'm going to show you the smart system for the dairy farm we developed here. Okay. So I can show you how the system operates. That sounds great. Here. Let's go. Okay. So we're up here at the NTU University and I'm going to explore the premises with the help of Professor Xu here. And as you can see, this is a very active research center. And I'm just really looking forward to learning about how they're using new technology to not only improve the lives of these beautiful animals, but also to increase the overall efficiency of Taiwan's dairy industry. Yes, that's true. Professor Xu and his research student walked me through the heat stress reduction system they used to monitor the cows. The sensors and computer equipment that they have developed track the cowshed environment using data indicators such as temperature and humidity index and can automatically detect when to turn on the fans and mist system, ensuring that the animals are as comfortable as possible. And we also use the, the humidity index to control the fan, also the sprinkle and the mist. Those three can operate according to these the degree of the heat stress. The more heat stress the, the fan will turn on longer time, also the sprinkle will turn on more often, also the mist will do the mm. same thing. So that, that will cool down the environment. Also, so the, the cow will feel more comfortable, Yes. and they can eat more and drink more water, so they can produce more milk. Also the, the quality of the milk will get better compared to the cow without anything. We, we, we did not try to relieve the, the heat stress. So probably the most important thing is to keep them as cool and comfortable as possible, possible yes. and make sure there's good air circulation. Yes. And every once in a while you just sprinkle them with a little bit of water, yeah. cool their body. And from your research you can tell that the happier and healthier the cow, mm -hmm. uh, it will lead to better and better quality of milk. Yes, and, and more milk. And more milk. Yes. Even in the hottest months of the year. Even in the hottest months, yes. I see. Yeah. Because you were you were telling me that in the summertime demand for milk is higher. Yes. So the price of milk is actually higher uh, in the summer. Yes. But traditionally the cows produce less milk in the summer. In the summer, yeah. So using this new technology system, uh -huh. you can actually maintain a high level of milk production yes. even during the summer even months. During the summer, yes. Wes, what are you doing? Brushing the cow excrement off my shoe. <laughs> uh, I stepped in a, quite a large pool of it. <laughs> well, that's a lot. Do <laughs> you need it? No, thank you. <laughs> the research being done at NTU is fascinating. So the next day, we headed to Miao Li to the Four Ways Dairy Ranch, a functioning dairy farm where this system has been in place for several years so we could see its real life application and benefits. So I'm with a bunch of cows, they're very patiently waiting in line, and this is the station where they're going to be milked. So let's go inside and check that out. All right, here we are deep in the heart of this dairy farm, and I'm just so excited to be here seeing this real life dairy farm in action. I can tell that all the cows are just happily going through this milking assembly line here, and we're just gonna keep exploring this farm and checking out how that technology we saw yesterday at the university is being applied right here on this very active farm. So one of the things I just learned is that that huge fan you can see right behind me, that is one of the new additions to this part of the farm because through the research that was done up at the university, they learned that that kind of cooling system is actually much more efficient and better for the animals. 
So you can just see right away some of the differences that are being made on the farm to help improve the efficiency of the milking process and also to improve the lives of the cows. I like the way that the cows are just waiting calmly and patiently in line while they're being milked. Uh, they seem very comfortable, they seem very cool and very happy. I have come up here to the very top of this 12 ton milk tank and it's just incredible being up here. The cows, as you can see, they've lined up to be milked right there and the milk goes straight into this cooled milk tank so it can remain as fresh as possible. And you can also see there's all kinds of fans and proper ventilation, open windows around the edge of the barn. This is all done using the new advances in information and technology from the university in order to make this environment as cool and comfortable as possible for these cows in order to get the best quality of milk possible. I am not sure if you can hear me in here, but that's probably the point because as you can see, this place is just so well ventilated. Huge fans up and down these cow sheds. It is shady in here. It is cool and it is breezy. So if I was a cow, even on a very hot day, I would feel very, very comfortable in these cow sheds. So hello, thank you again for inviting me here to the farm. I really appreciate that. I just wanted to ask you, um, how long have you been using this new form of technology for monitoring the cows? And what differences have you seen since you adapted these new changes? The milk farm manager, Mrs. Yang, explained to me that they adopted the cowshed environment monitoring system in 2018. At that time, the heat stress alarms were going off almost every day, especially during the hot summer months. And so they made changes to their farm based on the recommendations from Professor Xu's department at NTU, which included improving the ventilation of the cow sheds, as well as installing more sprinkler systems and larger fans. These changes proved to be successful, and these days they only see two or three heat stress alarms per year, and milk production has increased by nearly 15%. Well, that sounds like a lot of very fascinating information. Um, and I think you guys are doing amazing work here on the farm and you're also being helped by the research that they're doing at the NTU University in Taipei. Yeah. So I think uh, it seems like you guys have a very good relationship and as I've said before, it's good for the cows, it's good for the farming community and it's also great for the consumers. So yeah. congratulations and really nice to meet you today. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, all finished up here at the Four Ways Ranch. Honestly, I had such an amazing couple of days learning all about Taiwan's milk industry. And especially I enjoyed watching the farmers, I would even hesitate to call them farmers, after seeing what they do, how they incorporate science and technology and modern research into their everyday agricultural practices. I would call them something more like agricultural engineers and they were all so friendly to me so nice so knowledgeable i loved learning about what they're doing here in taiwan to help improve the dairy industry not only for the consumers but also reduce labor costs and increase efficiency across the farms in taiwan so thank you for watching this video series i will link the other three videos right down below share these videos with your friends like the videos subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you very very soon take care everyone for more information please check out the ag tech website which i'll link right down below